You know, I've always found that when I get a new student, the very first lesson that we cover is string muting, just because it's so incredibly important. And without string muting, you get unwanted string noise all over the place, and it ruins everything you try to do. So, what is string muting? Well, it's where you use the fleshy parts of both of your hands to mute every single string except for the one that you're playing. And it's done in two ways, fretting hand muting and picking hand muting. So I'm going to show you both of those, and then I'll give you a very basic exercise to tie it all together. Um, let's start with fretting and muting. The red area shown is the muting surface for the fretting hand. You first fret the note you wish to play, and then gently flatten the underside of your index finger down onto the thinner or higher strings, effectively muting them. Let's have a go right now. So here is how you fretting hand mute. Let's say you're going to play a note on the G string. So let's just fret uh, number 12 here. If you just have your finger right on the tip like that, raised up, then the B and the high E will sound out, and that's not what you want. The job of the fretting hand mute is to mute all of the higher strings than the one you're playing. So we fret the 12th fret, and then we flatten out the index finger down over the B and the high E. So you'll still be able to play uh, this fretted note, but the one that's higher will be muted. The red areas shown are the muting surfaces for the picking hand. Picking and muting is mostly done with the side of the palm, though as your picking hand moves up towards the B and high E strings, you'll find that a small part of what I call the chicken drumstick of the thumb joins in to help mute the very lowest strings. Let's give it a go. So here is how I do picking hand muting. As shown in the previous slide, you want to take that fleshy side of the palm and place it near the bridge on the lower strings. Now to test it out, all you've got to do is fret, fret any note on the G string and you want to make sure that that one sounds out but the D is muted the A is muted and the E is muted give that a go okay now let's put uh, both of these techniques together fretting hand muting and picking hand muting on the G string yet again we're going to be doing a nice simple chromatic run of four So you're going to need to make sure that the B and the high E are trapped under your uh, fretting hand mute and that the D, the A and the E are all tra trapped underneath your picking hand mute. So what you're doing is you're just zeroing in so that only the G string is the one that's sounding out. If you can do this cleanly, then your, uh, your string muting is on point.